one. So I braved Aldi and well, decided to do my Christmas shop there this year. Um, yeah, I braved it this morning and I basically went to Tesco as well just after because there was just a few things that I couldn't find or they just didn't have in stock. So um, yeah, I spent £127 in Aldi and then £8 in Tesco. You'll see anyway, I got some extra bits for other people. So um, yeah, I will show you my haul. I'm gonna start off with the party food side of things. Like they have so many really like good stuff in at the moment. I do have, I went in there last week anyway and I already picked up a lot of their freezer bits and I'm relieved that I did because they are pretty much, they were pretty much sold out of their freezer stuff. But these were on ITV um, as like a number one canapé to try. So these are the mini beef wellingtons. I think they were 2 dollars I believe. And then also I decided to get the steak and out and chicken and ham mini pies as well. Um, we like to have this sort of thing either after Christmas or Christmas Eve. I'll probably do a selection, like I might choose to do these ones for Christmas Eve with some other bits, obviously with cheese board and whatever. Um, yeah, I just find this stuff, the kids just love nibbly bits. I also ended up getting the Hunter's Chicken Bites, so they have barbecue sauce filled. They are currently £1.69. And then I also got the mini Chicken Kiev Bites as well. Um, I got some giant olives, French brie. I didn't get like a proper like cheese board because they do like the ones already made. One, they're generally just a bit more expensive. And two, we're a little bit fussy with what cheeses we like, or at least what Graham likes specific cheese, whatever. So I tend to just buy the cheeses that we like and I just find that just works best. We've got no waste as well of cheeses that we just don't like. So yeah, I got a French brie because it's one that everybody loves. I also got some smoked Scottish salmon. Um, I got some really love, you'll see them in a minute. I got some really nice brioche, brioche bagels, which I've never seen before. So I got some of those and I've got some cream cheese. So I'm gonna, um, I thought that would be quite a nice sort of cream cheese smoked salmon bagels. Um, I got some of uh, this sort of like bluey kind of cheese which I, I quite like quite strong cheeses and Graham's favourite is the Wednesday day with cranberry I couldn't get any camembert at all completely sold out that's why one reason I went to Tesco I got some prosciutto everybody loves prosciutto I got these little snowman ice cream lollies I just saw those and thought they were funny so I thought the kids would like those um, mozzarella I got some pizza base this is basically the dough might make some quick pizzas for I don't know, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, some of the pimento and garlic stuffed olives. Um, we've got some double British cream for like puddings and then also just some Greek style natural yogurt. Two lots of custard, some smooth cranberry sauce. We're not necessarily in too much of the sauces and all the different jar stuff that you get but graham does love the cranberry sauce and so do i um i got some small roasting trays i think these were like 99p i just thought they would come in handy for either um roasting obviously the vegetables but also just convenience of just throwing the party food on chris uh biscuits for cheese um i did have some left over from when we went to center parks but i needed a new box they were also reduced i think they were down to like two pounds sixty um, and then where should I go next over here? We've got some just little fromage fray yogurts for, for miles and then some squidgy pouches as well um, Frozen sausage rolls. These are really nice We got some of these for women at Centre Parks and there's 50 in there And you just obviously pop them in the oven and it's just nice having like a warm mini sausage roll even miles likes these um, We've had calamari a few times now. This is just the standard stuff, but the soy and chili one is really good as well. Um, the mini Belgian eclairs, we've had these again before. These are down to like 69p a box. So I've got two boxes, everybody loves these. And they're so nice if you just leave them out for like an hour before you eat them. And they're kind of like little ice cream balls instead of like cream, it's really nice. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for Christmas morning. Sometimes we do pancakes. Well, actually, most of the time we do pancakes with bacon and maple syrup. I saw these and I'm tempted to do like um, 
croissants and chacopans, that sort of thing. So I got the frozen ones. These are the ones that you obviously pop in the oven. Um, you can have like warm croissants. So they were eight in there. And then these ones are the six pack. Bananas, two lots of avocado, fancy the watermelon. I've got some red cabbage. I love doing like a balsamic reduced down red cabbage, which is really, really good. Lots of butter and the kids and Graham love that. Um, Brussels sprouts, obviously. Brussels sprouts and bacon, roasted, so good. Um, onions, cucumber, carrots, marasp fried potatoes. Um, bananas, I say that. I'm getting more fruit and stuff like that tomorrow because Graham will be doing the last market before Christmas. These are the brioche sliced bagels. Look how good they look. They are obviously new. Um, farmhouse white loaf some sliced finger buns or iced finger buns sorry the kids love those and then also i picked up the winter spice saurine that was 99p i think that sounded really good i'm sure the kids will like that this is currently the bread that i have bought a few times now from there seeded sourdough it is so good with smashed avocado toasted oh my god so good you have to try it um and then i also got some all butter almond croissants it's one thing me and graham used to absolutely love and i haven't bought in ages so we've got those and then some part bait rolls i already have i think maybe one or two packs in the freezer so i thought i'd get some more because this is great for baked camembert bacon rolls that sort of thing they run out of milk um like whole milk so i managed to get one semi-skinned so i just bought one semi-skinned um, and then also I thought I would try their mold winterberry gin. This was $13.99, I believe. Um, I'm excited to try that. They pretty much ran out of their all uh, their like, kind of like standard tonic. So I had to get kind of more of the fancy one, which is fine. I've already got one bottle of tonic anyway in the fridge. Um, as you know, like I drink, Graham doesn't drink alcohol. Um, so I ended up getting the Mediterranean fla flavored tonic water, two lots of that. And then... I noticed, and I spoke to someone in the store actually, and they recommended this as being a dupe for the Barefoot Zinfandale that I used to always get from Costco because it's just generally cheaper from there. Um, this is $3.99 a bottle. The Barefoot stuff is about £6.49. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to taste the same. It looks, oh my God, it's like the bottle resembles it. It's very bizarre. Cashew nuts, pistachio nuts, got some of these little fake Milky Way bars, uh, Mining Graham Street, salted pretzel, this is so good, and then also the seashells are really, really good there. Tea time biscuit selection, they were also reduced. Um, I've got two lots of bleach and then some sausage roll flavoured puffs, I think everyone's going to love those. Two lots of cookies, onion rings. Violet loves these, like no joke. I bought like the multi-pack um, a couple of weeks ago and yeah, I noticed that they did the big bag. So I just bought the big bag. Some wacko caramel bars, cheesy balls, craze cereal, Graham likes that, and honey hoops. Then I also got some Santa lollies. These were 99p. And then two lots of sensitive wipes that I got for Miles, and then he's got the Junior pull-up um, nappies, two lots of those, because we've literally run out. I love the pull-up style. Um, this is stuff that I got from Tesco, two lots of Cravendale whole top milk. Um, it's got a good life, like shelf life on it or whatever for the fridge, so I've got two just so we wouldn't run out. And then they literally were really long, they came and bear as well. So I didn't get my usual, um, what is it called? I can't even remember the brand now. But anyway, I usually get the same one every year. Um, they didn't have it. So I got the Tesco Camembert and then the finest one as well, just to see what they're like. Um, and then also I couldn't get any sage, like fresh sage in Aldi. And actually they didn't have any fresh sage either in Tesco, but they had like this roasting bundle. So I use sage in my stuffing. So um, yeah, I managed to get this, which is a win really, because sage for some reason around this time of year is so hard to come by. Um, and then for puddings, Aldi have so many nice puddings in the frozen section, in the fresh section. I picked up these two purely based on everyone will eat them because it's just chocolate. 
Um, they had like a lemon bomb thing, raspberry thing, like a black forest ghetto bomb thing. I personally would eat that, but no one else will. So um, I ended up getting the chocolate and hazelnut cheesecake, basically a Nutella cheesecake, which I have made many of times before. I probably should have made it, but um, we're going to mother-in-law. So I think I'm gonna take that. She usually makes a quite a lot of uh, puddings and traditional ones. So I think I'm gonna take that as like our put to take over there. And then I saw this Belgium chocolate Yule log. Look how big it is. Um, this was $4.99, I believe. So yeah, we've got this as our pudding with like cream. Oh, that looks amazing. And then also for Graham's friend that's just had a baby, I am gonna do a little hamper for them. So I picked up some nappies, big pack of wipes in there, and then also some mint chocolates for them and also to some bath time stuff they don't have a massive amount in Aldi for babies so I'm just gonna make a little hamper for them um so yeah that is everything I got from Aldi I think my shop was really really reasonable actually considering how much I got I mean obviously um one thing I will say is that I didn't actually get too much of like chocolatey bits if that makes sense i had already pre-bought a lot of it and we'd already we've been given a couple of tubs of like quality street in celebration so oh, you won't there. see that there's chocolate there chocolate there chocolate there chocolate there yeah and there's only so much you really need oh my God, I... I was just packing it away and i realized i just got to show you one thing that i got miles so he i realized going around the shop when i saw they had like these santa sacks and that's one thing he doesn't have it's like a proper christmas sack these are down to like $3.99 at the moment. There was a really lovely navy one as well, but I just went for red and the gold just because it goes with our sort of decor and traditional colours that I have. And the other two have like red sack as well. But yeah, these are down to $3.99. They're kind of velvety and they're a decent size. So um, yeah, I managed to get that in there as well. And um, very happy about that. So he's actually got a Santa sack because I don't think he was going to even have one this year. Um, otherwise just literally want to show you a couple of things that I was going on about in the freezer section So um, I picked these up already duck spring rolls. They are really good. The vegetable spring rolls are really good as well These things were literally and these mozzarella sticks were sold out Well at least at the Aldi that I went to but honestly I can say they are delicious and for you know Christmas Eve and whatever or like nibbling ones. Um, also I got we tried the caramel ones already, but we've got the chocolate and hazelnut churros as well, which are really, really nice. You just pop them in the oven for a few minutes. You know, we do our own meat, so we don't end up, like Graham's already got us a gammon, we've got a turkey, we've got streaky bacon and bacon and whatever. All the meat we need, we've got, like he makes pigs and blankets and everything. So I don't have to go down that route, which does make a food shop probably more expensive, obviously. Um, we're getting some more fruit and veggie stuff tomorrow. I might be able to show you that. It just depends whether how quick I can get this video up. But um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. We'd love to know where you shop for Christmas, where you've decided to go. Like I said, I've never shopped in Aldi for Christmas before, but I just fancied it. And I think what um, spurred me on is that I keep seeing like, all the Aldi adverts of all their really good stuff in. Like, So yeah, where do you shop around Christmas time? For your big shop where have you gone this year have you changed it up or have you gone to your usual place um yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a wonderful christmas and i will see you all soon